care lab. We care you learn. Diabetes, the first thing you should know. Welcome to Care Lab. This is a short video on diabetes. We will focus on the first few things you should know. The term diabetes generally refers to two conditions that are nearly unrelated. These are diabetes mellitus and diabetes insipidus. We will explore their differences, similarities, and subtypes. Let's start with diabetes mellitus. Diabetes mellitus DM, is by far the more common. DM is caused by poor production or abnormal function of insulin. Insulin is produced by the pancreas gland. There are three main types of diabetes mellitus. These are type 1, type 2, and gestational diabetes. Type 1 diabetes is an autoimmune disease. Here, the body's immune system attacks and destroys the cells that produce insulin. It is usually diagnosed in childhood or adolescence. DM type 1 requires lifelong insulin therapy. Type 2 diabetes is caused by a combination of insulin resistance. In some cases, there is inadequate insulin production. Type 2 DM is usually diagnosed in adulthood. It is managed with combined lifestyle changes and medications. Gestational diabetes GDM occurs during pregnancy. It usually goes away after the baby is born. Sadly, these women are more likely to develop DM type 2 later. We should now discuss diabetes insipidus. Diabetes insipidus DI, is a rare disorder. It is caused by the lack of vasopressin hormone function. This hormone is produced in the pituitary gland of the brain. There are three subtypes of DI, central, nephrogenic, and dipsogenic. Central diabetes insipidus is caused by a lack of vasopressin production. It is treated with synthetic vasopressin or desmopressin. Nephrogenic diabetes insipidus is caused by a resistance to vasopressin. This may be inherited or by a kidney disease. It is treated with medications that reduce urine production. Dipsogenic diabetes insipidus is a rare form of DI. It occurs when the thirst mechanism in the brain is overactive. This causes excessive thirst and fluid intake. Are there similarities between DM and DI? Note that there are a few similarities between diabetes insipidus and mellitus. 1. Both forms of diabetes are chronic conditions that require ongoing management. 2. They are both associated with excess urination, dehydration, and fatigue. 3. Both forms of diabetes can lead to more serious health problems, even sudden death. And 4. Both can be managed through a combination of lifestyle changes and medication. Let's do a fast recap. In this video, we discussed the two forms of diabetes. Diabetes mellitus and diabetes insipidus. We explored their similarities, differences, and subtypes. At Care Lab, we will continue to discuss diabetes and other health conditions. Be sure to subscribe to our channel to stay up to date on important health information. See you in the next video. Care Lab. We care, you learn.